Hi guys and welcome back to part four of Relationship Alchemy. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Go back and watch part one, two and three also, right? So you know what we're talking about here in um, the previous um, parts. We spoke of soulmates being our mirror accountability we spoke of you know the chemical reaction and the science behind alchemy um not just the spirituality but we spoke of the spirituality too right um so go back and check them out and of course let go to grow so part four I wanted to go more into the feminine and masculine energy because you will keep hearing me say it's not male and female and I just wanted to explain that a bit more. So feminine and masculine energy, how can we describe it? So we can describe the masculine energy as a little more volatile and the feminine energy as a little more focused some people want to say weak or something but it's just a little more focused and like i said both are needed for creation right we have different amounts of the feminine masculine energy within us um but we need both to create so the feminine energy, being more focused, let me explain so I don't have guys going off at me in the comments. <laughs> I just mean it draws things together. It can pull things into focus. I, I'm just picturing like a womb, right, where things need to create. But of course we need something added to the womb to create right so it sort of creates that stability for something to blossom to bloom so the feminine energy can be described as nurturing loving all the things that we need to grow because we do need um stability in our life as well as volatility right so yeah <laughs> i'm getting some right images guys so i'm picturing the masculine energy and trying to figure out how to describe it and i was thinking of the big bang and then i thought about conception and yeah the rest i'm sure as consent in adults you <laughs> can put two and two together um so <laughs> the masculine volatile energy um, it's a bit more of a go-getting energy, a bit more free-spirited, wild, untamed, um, and that's why we do need both. We need both sides of this. As children growing up, um, we need both inputs of this, right? I'm not saying we need a male and a female. I'm saying we need two different types of energy to be around. So we learn to be adventurous. Usually we say, you know, babies do things with their dads that um they won't do with the mothers or you know in today's society like i said we can have many females that are more in the masculine energy um so there are a lot of people who are adventurous and will teach children to be adventurous rather than um stereotype of the mother um not wanting the child to maybe jump off a high rock <laughs> you know um just an example there so yeah we definitely need both of these types of chemicals to blend together to make something beautiful right to create and that's where um creation the big bang however you want to call it this is how things come into being if you just i'm just envisioning these massives of energy and starlight and things coming together so that's where we are with the feminine and masculine energy 
So with the um, volatile and focused energy, we find the four philosophical elements, right? We have earth, wind, air and fire. And in those elements, we can see that fire um, would be sh like strong, volatile energy. Within air, we have a mixture of volatile and focused energy, the same as within water. Within earth, we have complete focused energy. It's very different from um, the physical elements. I'm talking about the philosophical elements in this section here. You may, you may have just heard me say that fire is um, a strong force there. So fire is strong and air would be classed as weak, water as electromagnetic force and earth as a gravitational force. OK, it's not that you're weak. If you are an air sign, do not confuse the two. These are the philosophical um, forces or if you like the creation, how things are creation uh, created. And there we find the feminine and masculine energy. Hi guys and welcome back to Relationship Alchemy. So today I want to talk about energy. So energy is just energy. It doesn't know, it's not right or wrong, it's just energy. It's how we perceive it or want to direct it that has a effect on our life. Um, a positive or a negative effect. So we, this is what I was talking about in, I think, the end of part two, where I was saying, um, you know, if we choose to have a negative emotion and allow the energy that flows through us to come out negatively, it can be quite draining, right? Um, so we want to change that. And this is why the change of perspective, um, you know, when things are happening to us, we generally feel like bad things are happening to us. Life is happening to us. We're not in control of life. So I want to speak to you today about energy, not knowing, um, saying or knowing it's right or wrong. It's just energy and we can choose to direct it in a much positive way. I think a lot of... Um, Communication goes wrong because when we are texting, which we do a lot in this day and age, you know, we lose the body language. We use the energy that we pick up off somebody else. So a lot of things are miscommunicated because of the lack of energy that we, you know, receive from people during texting. So it's just another example of why it's important energy. Um, so why is it important you feel your energy or change your energy? So as human beings, we're basically like a mass of energy, right? A big ball of energy and things like that. Um, and all the energy that we have has to go somewhere. So if we're not mindful of this feeling of energy, it goes to our head, which makes us think a lot, stress out, eat, overthink, um, being balanced, you know, uh, so you, you can become numb from this. You know, your body starts to think what's going on, what's happening, because we're thinking, oh, this is bad energy or something like that is bad chi, you may have heard people say. Um, it's widely believed that so many diseases and things like that come about because of the bad and stagnant energy we have within us. We're not doing anything with the energy, right? We're creative beings, you know, made in the image of our creator. So we're meant to be creative beings. And if we aren't putting that energy into something creative and something positive, like I said, it can become quite stagnant, I think, in us and lead to 
depression, sadness and confusion, stress even. Okay, so how do we go about changing, okay, the energy? Um, a lot of people, or you may have heard me on my channel say, you know, cleanse the energy in your house. You might have seen or you might do buy sage and cleanse your house that way, opening up windows, um, you know, people arranging furniture in a certain way so the energy flows through their house correctly. Uh, you know, all sorts of things you can do to manage this energy. And like I said, energy is not good, it's not bad, it's just energy, right? It's up to us to have a higher perspective. Like the hanged man, we don't want to be stuck, we want to change our perspective. So, for an example, if a relationship breaks down and we're like, it's so bad and we become sad and the energy is within us, we can end up having so much energy that we can't sleep within us because we're not putting it out. Maybe you was directing that energy towards a loved one. Maybe you was taking care of somebody and then you don't have to take care of them anymore. So, you know, there's a lot of ways that we do expel our energy. And then when that's gone, we seem to be like at a loss and read it um, as negative, right? So what would happen if uh, we started saying positive things instead of negative things if we wanted to direct our life in a certain direction so we've heard this as well in manifesting videos i've put some out there myself it's on the self-help section um so feel free to check them out but say if we're manifesting you'll hear people say um don't say things like i want money say i have money Right, just little things like that, you're directing the energy different out of your body. So, you know, having the ability to recognize, um, okay, I'm intentionally directing the energy in a certain direction until it almost becomes a habit of speaking like that or doing whatever it is you start doing so that then you don't have to you know, force yourself, remind yourself. You can get um, like a little totem. I used to stick those, you know, little sticky pad notes on my mirror um, just to remind me every day when I woke up, this is who I am. You know, not who I want to be. This is who I am. Okay, so let's say you want to manifest a successful business, a successful relationship, you want to put the positive energy into that, right? You don't want to say, as an example, he, she lies to me, okay? He, she is bad to me. You don't want to say these things. It may be true of the past, um, but we're talking about intentionally directing energy um, for the future. And this is where I want to start leading you in this relationship alchemy series, how to speak into existence, if you like, something more positive for you, and how to direct your own energy and your own life. So how do we feel energy? If you want to feel your own energy, first you have to quiet your brain. A lot of people um, can meditate and you can um, do that. And when you first start meditating, you know, your brain's very active. So don't think, what am I doing wrong? You know, we have a lot going on in our everyday life. So our minds are obviously busy. Um, we don't need to beat ourselves up about it. We, this, we, we want to stop with the, you know, negative bashing ourselves. Um, because that, again, it's directing the energy to somewhere we don't want it to be. So we want to start meditating. Let's just put it as simply as that. And, um, you know, quiet your mind. Because when your veins, when, sorry, when your brain is very active, it produces a lot of thoughts and emotions, memories, you know, visuals and things like that. It distracts you, you know, outside of your own mind. 
So having too much mental chatter is just like white noise in your mind. So first we want to quiet that down. Um, so there's a lot of ways you can do this. Just sit in a quiet room, maybe just sit in a park for a little bit. Start off small. Don't try and be like, OK, I'm going to be a Zen master in a minute it doesn't happen even my brain you know when you want to sit down and meditate some days it's harder than others because we have a lot going on in our life all the time okay so anyone of any age can just literally sit down and quiet your mind and begin to feel your energy you don't need to have any experience okay so first i want you to start by relaxing your wrist fingers shoulders and tapping your fingers together like you're trying to wake them up okay so repeat this for about 15 seconds and then i want you to relax your entire hand again hold both hands upright and twist your wrist back and forwards rapidly. Keeping your hands relaxed as possible, but you know, twisting and rotating and things like that. Um, keeping them moving, like I said, like you're trying to wake them up, okay? So if you feel like you're holding tension, like you're holding your breath, I do this sometimes when I'm talking to somebody and I don't realize, and then I'll be like, ah. so if you feel like you've got tension in your chest and you're holding, your breath, let's say, breathe out any tension you feel, okay? So, relax your wrists and your hands once more, but don't let them go limp. Face your palms towards one another and have them almost touching, okay? Almost touching, not touching. Focus on the centre of your palms energy manifests in three ways heat tingling pulsating okay so you should begin to feel this sensation between your hands do this for about 20 seconds okay okay so once you feel the energy between your palms and you don't have to do this right now okay but you can do it anytime when you have time to sit down and you know, relax yourself because you don't want a lot going on in the background. So once you feel the energy between your palms, begin to slowly rotate your hands in a circle motion. After that, you can pull and push your hands further and apart and closer together. Okay, while focusing on the middle of your palms, you should feel the energy become stronger and clearer and bigger as you move your hands and just keep it going okay for like 20 seconds and then just say you know how does it feel i do um if you are not in contact with somebody and you want to send them like a message an energetic message okay so once you've done all this you can then focus after you've tried it a few times, focus the message into the energy between your hands. Picture what you want to say, the person smiling, you smiling, and good flow of energy. Lots of good intentions behind it, happiness behind it, love and joy behind it, because this is how we manifest, right? We want this energy coming between your hands. So um, you can send messages like this to other people and they'll pick it up. They'll start thinking of you. They may even reach out and text you. OK, so don't be surprised about that. <clears throat> so I didn't really intend for it to turn into their um, how to send energetic messages but it is what it is right guys i'm not always in charge of the message that comes out i can have as much good intentions as i like but it just ends that way okay so yeah 
So practice this, okay? Um, this is great for people who are feeling a lot of stress and overthinking and always in their head, can't seem to shut their brain off, okay? So go ahead and try it. You'll feel really strong energy and send out positive thoughts to other people. Remember, everybody can direct negative thoughts, but it's going to come back to you tenfold, right? So you might send somebody a bad dream or a nightmare or something. Um, but for you, it's going to come back in your physical everyday life as something negative. So I don't advise doing that, guys. OK, so just be aware when you're doing this. Remember to if you're holding your breath to release. OK. OK, guys, so good luck with that. Go ahead and try it and leave me um, a comment. Let me know how you got on, how your energy balls are feeling. But just remember energy it's not right or wrong it's just energy and we can choose what direction we want to put that in and like i said we're made in the image of our creator so if you put it into something creative your life will take off in a much more positive direction good luck guys